long time now since you played in a game, late November, South Carolina. Any butterflies this week? Any special excitement about getting back out there? Um, not really, or at least not right now. Uh, right now I'm just, uh, you know, taking it one day at a time, uh, enjoying myself and, uh, you know, the preparation, uh, going to classes and, and working out and, and now, you know, in a little while going to meetings and practice. So, uh, you know, I'm just taking it one day at a time. Uh, I mean, I, last year I was preparing myself, you know, going into the first game against Georgia as a starter too. So, um, yeah, it's, it's no different uh, than if I was a, you know, the backup or starting out. You know, I always gonna prepare that like I'm gonna play. Uh, nah, it, it's it's still the same. Um, even last year, they they knew that I was gonna get the play, so uh, they were you know leaning on me and Cole at the same time. So uh, you know when my time came, you know I took advantage of it and uh, yeah, and prepared with a purpose. Just now we've heard that you've been doing some line call, you know some line calls, um, setting up, helping with blocking schemes, that sort of thing. At this point, what kind of communication do you have with the offensive linemen? And do you, do you feel like you're in charge now? Do you feel like people are uh, I wouldn't say that I'm in like total charge or anything. Uh, you know, I just tell them, uh, you know, manage the game uh, when I can, and whatever you know, Coach Street and Coach Elliott and Scott, you know, uh, prepare us with you know through the meetings and and throughout the day. Uh, you know, I, I've related to my you know office line where we're at practice, and uh, you know, I, I'm just basically communicating what you know the coaches tell me in the meeting room. No, I didn't. I will. Yeah. So. Nah. <laughs> I'm take it slow. So. How do you feel physically? I feel great. Uh, you know, I feel really good. Um, I'm excited about Saturday, and um, you know, I just can't wait. You know, until that moment and time come. Are you gonna feel the brace? Yeah, you? I will. Just gone. Uh, pretty much. Uh, I think it's required. You know, after ACL injury, to wear it for a year. So. Uh, it really doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> um, they have throughout, you know, the summer and fall camp. Um, actually, you know, uh, Friday at the Beanie Ball, I was talking to uh, Christian Wilkinson, uh, Wilkins, and uh, just. Uh, he was just, you know, telling me about how he was excited about Saturday, and and uh, you know, I was just giving him a little info about, you know, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little while, uh, you know, the first time, especially, you know, coming down that hill and seeing all that orange. So, uh, you know, I, all the young guys are, you know, excited and uh, you know, ready for that moment, and uh, I think they'll do good too. Um, it's a it's a feeling that I really couldn't explain. Uh, it, it's just every time I stand or you know get off that bus and and standing on top of that that hill and looking over the field and and looking in the fans, it's it's a different feeling each time. So uh, you know my first time was you know, it was kind of nuts, but uh, you know I really can't tell you how I was feeling at that moment. You know my. Uh, you know, everything was just going through my head and just ready to play. Uh, I mean, we feel good. Um, you know, we put in a lot of you know, preparation throughout the summer and uh, fall camp, and uh, you know, we're just gonna you know take what they give us. And uh, you know, Coach Ellen and Coach Scott are gonna do a great job of calling the plays and managing the game and. Uh, you know, put me in the offense in the right position to, you know, score points. How have you processed all the national attention? How do I process it? Yeah. Uh, I just let them talk. Uh, you know, I just got to do what I can do. Um, you know, I know how I can play and, and what I can control. Um, you know, I just go out there and play, um, you know, each game the same. And, uh, you know, our standard is the best here. So, you know, I want to play my best 
and uh, you know, let everything else take care of itself. Uh, really just everything, just play uh, the best I can play and uh, help my team win and, and you know, I don't want to leave no regrets, you know, on the field no matter who we're playing and uh, just go out there and really just have fun. Um, it's a game, you know, I love to do and, and uh, you know, I put in so much work and time, you know, just to go out there for 12 Saturdays. So just go out there, have fun, and, uh, leave no doubt. How similar is this offense to what you ran in high school? And if it is similar, did that help you to push it forward? Uh, it's, it's pretty similar. Uh, it's a lot, a lot more here, of course. Uh, the playbook is bigger, um, but pretty similar from what I did in high school. Fast tempo, spread, uh, different formations, and uh, you know, spreading the ball around. So uh, when I came in, I was you know pretty prepared, and uh, you know, the transition was pretty easy. So uh, you know, I just came in um, ready to go. Uh, not nothing really. I mean, every quarterback coach have their, you know, own way of coaching. Um, but you know, at, at this level, you really don't want to change a person's technique or uh, you know throwing motion or anything. So uh, he does a great job of you know with the feet work and uh, you know timing up you know with the feet and the drop with the uh, different routes that we have and um, just really that and just preparing us to you know be the best on game day. Um, n none really. Uh, only thing I really want to do is you know go on to feed it, and so that's probably all the you know stats on Saturdays. I really don't focus on that. You know, as long as we get that W, so uh, you know I just go out there and do what I can do. Uh, that's just like, you know, taking whatever uh, they give us. Um, you know, we just execute the play that is called at the time. And, uh, you know, just go out there and do what we can do and do our job. Um, you know, don't try to do too much. Uh, we're going to be simple and, and play fast and, and do what we do. And, um, you know, that Coach Elliott and Coach Scott does a great job of, you know, making sure that we know that. And, you know, just everyone doing their job and everything else is going to take care of itself. So we don't you know, put a lot of pressure on just one player um, and uh, try to make a big play. We just go out there and each person do their job. When you threw that dart into the end zone, Georgia, <laughs> I'm just curious, when you ran, ran off the field, was there any sense of relief that, okay, I'm in the moment, I'm playing major college football, and I'm up to this? Um, not, not really, because uh, a lot of people thought I was, I guess, nervous at the time, but I really wasn't. Uh, the moment that I found out you know, I was really playing college football is when, you know, coming into Athens and, and riding on the bus and seeing all the fans and just, you know, a year ago I was a recruit standing out there, you know, watching the bus come in, but now I'm on the bus. So, uh, you know, at that moment that kind of hit me. But, you know, once I stepped on the field, you know, it was go time. And, you know, I, I trust my skill set and, uh, you know, my knowledge of the game that I can play at this level. And, you know, I just went in and, and you know, I prepared with a purpose and, and uh, uh, you know, I just went in and scored a touchdown. So. Hey, you spent time with Cam Newton. You talked to Matt Ryan. Is there any one piece of advice you give those guys to get to the end of the Uh, really, uh, never change. Uh, always be yourself and and just keep grinding. Uh, you know, no one can tell you that you can't do anything, and so uh, you know, just. Having that mindset that you want to be the best and that you can be the best is, uh, you know, the the best advice you can get and uh, you know self motivation. So, uh, just really just keep doing what I'm doing and you know just keep, you know, having fun. Coach, you said for a while this is not Chad Morris offense. It's a offense. Now that you're five days away, going out that second year on the bowl game without Coach Morris, how do you prove? 
just really, I mean, Coach Morris would try, probably tell you the same thing. This never was his, you know, offense. This was a, you know, Clemson offense, and you know, we're all in it together. And so, uh, you know, just going into, you know, this game this Saturday is going to be the same as we did before. You know, preparing with a purpose and you know, fast tempo and try to score a lot of points and uh, pull out that W. So, um, you know, the, the preparation and mindset don't change because someone left. You know, we still want to be the best and. Uh, be the most explosive offense in the country. Are there any ways that Jelly and Scott have grown, stamp on it, opposed to the Um, I'm not sure. Uh, probably so, but um, you know, I'm just telling, I'm just going with you know whatever the coaches tell me to do. Um, you know, I'm excited about you know this offense and uh, what we can do you know, on Saturdays, and uh, you know, anxious to see what we can you know pull out Saturday. I don't see any issue. Uh, they're just as fast as Coach Morris was, and uh, you know they're going to be ready for the moment and you know work together. So uh, I don't see any issue with you know getting the plays in and out. No, uh, we have all the tools and and players around and the coaching staff to, you know, help us out. And so, um, you know, the potential is there. We just have to go perform and do it. And, um, you know, that's the, you know, mindset and do our job and, you know, uh, be detailed about our offense and what we got to do and we can, you know, make that happen. Uh, just really, uh, whatever the outcome comes, just really just, you know, getting that W and uh, being the better team, you know, on that Saturday is probably, uh, for my sake, uh, what it means to, you know, being the most supposed to offense. Having so. a high-tempo offense and goal and running 80 points a game, when you play a team like uh, Walford or Georgia Tech that runs the ball a lot and shoots up a lot of clock, uh, does, does that frustrate you or do you do that pressure? I don't think about it. Um, you know, I don't even think about the the next series. You know, I'm focused on that one series, and if we score or get you know some type of points, you know, every series, and the defense gives one stop, then you know that's the ball game, and we come up with the W. So, uh, you know, I focus on every play. Um, I, I really don't try to look ahead of the game and into the future. And uh, you know, if we do that, then you know we can be unstoppable. Thank you all.